Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Christian Faith and Fiction. My name's Lou and today I'm going to be talking about some of the Christian fiction books releasing in September and October 2019. As always I'll just start by saying that I may not read all of these books as I'm a slow reader on a budget but these are the ones that interest me most from their description and their covers. There are several books that are releasing on September the 3rd this year and by the way these are the American release dates that I found from Goodreads so if you're in other parts of the world like me in the UK these books may release on a later date. The Spice King by Elizabeth Camden this is a historical novel releasing on the 3rd of September and I apologise in advance if I butcher any names of authors or of characters. Um, some of them I'm not quite sure how to pronounce. Gray Delacroix has dedicated his life to building a successful global empire but it has come at a cost. Tasked with gaining access to the private Delacroix plant collection, Smithsonian botanist Annabel Larkin unwittingly steps into a web of dangerous political intrigue and will be forced to choose between her heart and her loyalty to her country. This is one of the books that I've already pre-ordered. Diamond in the Rough by Jen Turano is the second book in the American Heiresses series. This is also a historical novel releasing on the 3rd of September. As part of a bargain with her grandmother, Poppy Garrison accepts an unusual proposition to participate in the New York social season. Forced to travel to America to help his cousin find an heiress to wed, bachelor Reginald Blackburn is asked to give Poppy etiquette lessons and he swiftly discovers he may be in for much more than he bargained for. Christmas in Winter Hill by Melody Carlson is another book that I've pre-ordered. This is a Christmas romance that releases on the 3rd of September. Krista Galloway is not a fan of Christmas. After her rough childhood in multiple foster homes, the holiday season just brings too many bad memories to the surface. But when she accepts a job as a city manager in the mountain town of Winter Hill, Washington, Christmas is part of the deal. The small town is famous for its Christmas feel celebration, something that the city manager, well, manages. As she tries to make her tiny new apartment feel like home for her and her eight-year-old daughter, Emily, Krista begins to wonder if this move was a mistake. She doesn't always feel welcomed in this close-knit town, and Emily continually wonders, where's the snow? Can a friendly stranger and his family help restore Krista's Christmas spirit before the big day? As I said, I've already pre-ordered this one, but I'll probably save it for December, when I feel more in a Christmas mood. The Griffin Heist by James R. Hannibal. This is a thriller heist novel that releases on the 3rd of September. Talia Inger is a rookie CIA case officer, assigned not to the Moscow desk as she hoped, but to the forgotten backwaters of Eastern Europe, a department only known as Other. When she is tasked with helping a young, charming Moldovan executive secure his designs for a revolutionary defence technology, she figures she'll be back in DC within a few days, but that's before she knows where the designs are stored and who's after them. With her shady civilian partner, Adam Tyler, Talia takes a deep dive into a world where only criminal minds and unlikely strategies will keep the Griffin, a high altitude data vault, hovering in the mesosphere. Even Tyler is more than he seems and Talia begins to wonder is he helping her or using her to access CIA resources to pull off an epic heist for his own dark purposes? Fatal Strike by Diane Mills. This is a mystery and suspense novel also releasing on the 3rd of September. There's a killer on the loose in Galveston targeting law enforcement officials and using a fatal injection of snake venom to take them down. Authorities have reasons to believe the Venino gang are behind the hits. The FBI agents Leah Reisel and John Colbert team up to track down those responsible. Their best lead is an eyewitness who identifies a young man dumping the third body on a church doorstep. But their suspect has gone into hiding and those closest to him are reluctant to reveal anything that might help investigators find him. As Leah and John check connections among the victims and dig deeper into motives, they discover appearances may be deceiving. 
Someone is desperate to keep their secrets hidden, and Leah and John must face their greatest fears in order to stop the next fatal strike. Strands of Truth by Colleen Coble. This is a mystery and suspense novel releasing on the 10th of September. Harper Taylor is used to being alone. Her mother passed away in a car accident when she was an infant. She never knew who her father was, and now even the widowed grandmother who raised her is gone. She's done just fine investing her marine biology degree and her energy into her pen shell business. The last thing she expects is for the DNA test that she took to reveal a likely half-sister. And when she and Annabelle meet, there are striking similarities in their stories. Is it just coincidence that both their mothers died tragically without revealing Harper's and Annabelle's father's name? When Harper's business partner has a stroke, his son Ridge steps in to help. Before long, he's spending more time with her than the business would dictate, and Harper finds she doesn't mind in the least. When yet another tragedy strikes close to home, though, Harper and Ridge realise that the secrets of the past can't stay there. They'll have to unravel Harper's past before they can secure their future. When I Close My Eyes by Elizabeth Musser is a book releasing on the 5th of October. Famous author Josephine Bordelon is in a coma, jumping across memory as her body fights to survive, but those around her are fighting their own battles. Henry Hughes, who agreed to kill her for hire out of desperation, is uncertain how to finish the job now, and her teenage daughter Paige is overwhelmed by fear. Can Grace bring them all into the light? The Perfect Love Song by Patty Callahan Henry. This is a Christmas romance that releases on the 8th of October. Brothers Jimmy and Jack Sullivan live a nomadic life doing what they love, touring with their band, The Unknown Souls. But Jack's recent engagement to Cara has everyone looking forward to a Christmas destination wedding in Ireland. Unlike his brother, Jimmy never expected to fall in love, but he feels a sense of peace and happiness whenever he's around Cara's best friend, Charlotte, which has him wondering what he's missing. Over Thanksgiving, Jimmy and Charlotte write a song while sitting together on the back porch. When the band sings it at a Christmas concert the next night, Jimmy insists it's the perfect love song, but a manager for another famous duo is adamant that it's the perfect Christmas song. Before Jimmy knows what's happening, he's on tour with the hottest country band around, and suddenly everyone knows his name. But fame isn't all it's cracked up to be, and Jimmy finds himself far away from those he loves, especially Charlotte. Only a Christmas miracle or two will be able to lead Jimmy back to Ireland, to his brother and to his love. The Painted Castle by Christy Cambron. This is the third novel in the Lost Castle series and it releases on the 15th of October. I've read the first two books in this series this year and this one I have on pre-order. It was supposed to be a one week job. Survey an art find, collect a hefty fee, and use that to settle historian Kira Foley's life back into balance. But from the moment she sets foot in the East Suffolk countryside, the mysteries surrounding the old English manor and the enigmatic art thief who's employed her stir more questions than answers. Then Kira finds the existence of a portrait, captivating enough to upend all her expectations. This one could be a twin, a painting so close in composition to a known masterpiece. It may be rendered priceless if it truly captured the likeness of a young queen named Victoria. Set in three time periods, the rapid change of Victorian England, the tumultuous skies over England's eastern shores in World War II and modern day, the painted castle unfolds the legacy of faith, family and stories that are generations in the making. So those were my book picks. I'm sorry that I was disappearing off screen at the end of that. I was trying to leave space so I could insert the cover photos. Are there any books that you're eagerly anticipating this September and October? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you're an author and you have a Christian fiction novel coming out in September or October 2019, then please do add your book title and name down in the comments so we can all go and check them out. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!